Hello guys, welcome to another video. This one is a requested question, question number 15. So the volume of a sphere is given to you by this equation. Okay, that's something um, you need to know. Now 20 spheres each of radius, radius is r, is equal to 3, have a total volume of k pi centimeter cube. So we have to find the value of k. So first we have to find the volume of 20 spheres and then compare to find the value of k. So, one sphere is equal to, the volume of one sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. That is 4 over 3 pi 27. That is 1, 9, 36 pi. That is volume of one sphere. But now we have to find the volume of 20 sphere. So volume of 20 sphere. You have to multiply by 20. So 20 multiplied by the volume of 1 spheres. You will have pi will be pi. This will be 0. And then 36 times 2, that will be 7, 2. Okay, so that is the volume of, of 20 spheres. Now comparing with this, it says it is k pi. So pi is pi, and k will be 720. So 720 will be your value of k for part 1. Now uh, for part b, the spheres are inside of an open cylinder with radius 6. So right now we have a cylinder. So first let's draw the cylinder. Okay, so we have a cylinder. So that is the usual shape of a cylinder. So so what what do you know about cylinder? So here we are working with with volumes. So assume that we have to find something about volume, right? So what is the volume of a cylinder? So you would say it is equal to pi r square h. H will be the height of your cylinder. That is something uh, you should know, right? Now, the spheres are inside of the cylinder. So let's say we have 20 spheres that are inside that cylinder. For example, let's say until about one more range. Okay, that is the spheres are inside the cylinder. Now, the radius is 6. That is something good to know. Now, the cylinder stands on a horizontal surface, meaning it is on a flat surface, okay? And contains water enough to cover the spheres. Cover the spheres. The water is right above the, the spheres, right? So, we have to calculate the change in depth of water when the spheres are taken out. So, the initial height, we don't know. It is something like this. But now, if you were to take out if you were to take out the spheres, you could assume that when you take out something from water, the level will be decreasing to about, let's say about here. That is the water inside right now. Okay, that's the water. But now we want to find the change in that height okay we want to find this this height right that was the initial level when we took out the spheres the water dropped to this point we have to find this change in height now the question that I that I've seen is oh how do I know uh, why do I equate the volume of a cylinder to volume of of the change of the water because as you guys know water is um, is a substance that takes the shape of anything you put this into let's say when you put water in your cup it becomes the shape of the cup right so we, when you put water in the in a cylinder it becomes the shape of your cylinder so when you take out when you take out the beads uh, the the spheres we lost that much volume from what you can see Right, so we lost this much volume. So the volume we lost here is a cylinder 
so we lost that much volume which is a cylinder with radius 6 and height h so we want to find the height of that lost in volume so volume lost is equal to the volume of spheres because we took out the spheres if that makes sense right we take out the spheres and that will be the volume loss now this is the whole volume loss so we know this from part one volume of spheres is equal to 720 pi now volume loss is equal to this volume of a cylinder with radius 6 and height h replace back in your equation that is pi 6 square h so we have to find this value of h so pi pi will cancel out h will be 720 divided by 36 and that will be equal to 20 so this loss of volume uh, is a height of 20 so that is a change in height for this one and that will be your question number 15 so i hope that was somewhat helpful if you guys have other questions uh, let me know in the comments i'll get back to you guys